Hello Tez Demons, it's I am the Masked Man and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to mint an NFT on the Tezos blockchain, specifically on object.com. It's my favorite place to buy NFTs on Tezos and my favorite place to mint because you can actually create your own collection rather than you know posting it on a place like Hickack Nunk where it says that you know it's under their collection instead of yours. So for that reason and also object.com is building a lot of momentum right now. Um, and those are the reasons why I've decided to go ahead and mint on here. And I'm gonna break down how we're gonna do this guys right now really quickly. There are about five steps of things that you have to do in order to mint, okay? So number one is you're going to need some Tezos, all right? So currently I have a decent amount of Tez. I have 58 Tez right now. Okay, so let's keep that in mind, guys. I've got 58 Tez, and in the end of the video, we're gonna see exactly how much it costs for me to mint uh, NFT with 10 copies, okay? So I have 58 Tez now, so that's your first step. You're gonna have to download Coinbase or something like that, buy some Tezos, and then you're gonna have to send it to what is called a hot wallet. Now what you see here, guys, is a hot wallet, okay? So you have two options, basically. Um, number one, if you're on a browser, which is preferable, um, this is much, I've had more success on a browser rather than mobile. I find it's less likely to get hacked and stuff like that, but that's for another video. I would highly recommend downloading the Temple Wallet. Just go to templewallet.com, link in the video description down below, and you're gonna click install, and you're gonna have to go through the process. It's kind of like creating an email. You get a seed phrase, you write all that stuff down, um, and then you get this little thing here, all right? So now you have your hot wallet, and you've also got your Coinbase, whoops, You've got your Coinbase where you bought the Tezos and now you need a hot wallet, which is basically what you use to make the transactions. And it kind of is like the place that is where the NFTs are stored in a sense, okay? So this is, you kind of view it as your wallet where your NFTs are stored. That's the easiest way to explain it. Um, so boom, once you did that, you had your, you bought your Tezos and then you sent it to your hot wallet, all right? And you've got some Tez in here. Now we're able to get started. So if you guys have any questions about this stuff, please just hit me up on Twitter, Instagram, whatever you gotta do to find me. I'm more than willing to help you guys um, along with this process if it is confusing. So now we go to object.com and the first thing you're gonna have to do, so we're done step one and two, three more steps and then we are ready. We're selling, we're selling NFTs, we're rich, we're making billions, bazillions of dollars. So we're gonna create a collection, that's the first step. So you go to object.com, you click your little profile settings up there, you might have to click sync, you will sync to your hot wallet. And if you want to learn how to uh, uh, change your profile settings, I've got a video on that, video or link in the video description down below, you're definitely gonna to wanna to do that if you are selling NFTs, it shows collectors who you are, a little bit about you, makes you look more professional. Back to the tutorial. So you come here, you sync up your object to your hot wallet, um, you just click sync and then you sign it and now we are here, we go to, we click the little circle and then we click create. And if you do not have a collection created yet, you're gonna to wanna to first create a collection. So it's very simple, you drag and drop a file in here, but what you have to take note of is um, right here, file size is one megabyte, all right? So you don't wanna go bigger than that. Um, you wanna make your file maybe a JPEG if it's uh, PNG and it's over one megabyte, but you gotta do what you gotta do to get it down to that size, put it in here, and then you're gonna simply add a name. My name for mine was Spiritual Anarchy and a little description on it. And we'll quickly just go um, to my profile here, uh, to my collection, Spiritual Anarchy. Um, yeah, this is what I put in for the name. This is the photo I chose. And then this was the description I wanted for it. Okay, so once you have the collection made, now we can finally go ahead and get to the fun stuff which is actually minting our NFTs. So an NFT is a non-fungible token, hence why it's called a token up here. And yeah, we're ready to go. Um, let's go ahead. It says click on file you want to upload. I'm gonna go ahead with this one today. Um, and yeah, so this one, I would like to title this Games in My Head. And then for the description, it's just gonna be when will you 
stop playing games in my head? When will you stop playing games in my head? And that's just going to be my description. I like my keeping mine really slow, or sorry, not slow, but just low key, you know, kind of let the people um, have their own view on the artwork and stuff like that. Sometimes I do put, you know, a little at I am period, you know, so people know, but I find it looks a little corny. So for that reason, I'm just gonna leave the description very simple, just like so. And this is an, actually a newer feature here, um, the tags you can add. So I'm just gonna add a couple tags, um, nothing too crazy. If you add too much, I think it starts to look a little corny. But um, here we go, I'm just gonna add a couple things, like obviously it's a skull, it's kind of, um, I'm in kind of like a punk, emo, goth genre, so I do like to add those tags um, to my work. And then this is, has some association with gaming so I'm gonna add gaming tag and I think that's maybe maybe an anarchy tag as well um, just because I put these little spiritual anarchy logos in his eyes um, yeah and that's all I'm gonna put for the tags it's as easy as that and here guys this is why you had to create the collection beforehand um, so that you can actually click the collection that you want to mint it on because some people have multiple collections like maybe you have a profile pic collection and just a pure art collection or whatever it's very nice to just put it in certain collections certain boxes stuff like that licenses if you want to give people certain rights you can go ahead and do that but in this mint i'm just doing no license all rights reserved um and then additions um this is important you know you can only do this once guys um, additions I'm gonna go ahead and put only 10 one thing I've noticed guys is I think it's especially especially starting out put less additions than you think you can sell if you think you can sell 15 20 put 10 if you think you can sell 10 put 5 because if you want people to collect from you long term you want to be selling your work out it's pretty important I'm a huge like I'm a collector first and so when I'm collecting other people's artwork, if they're not selling out at all, I'm far less likely to want to invest in them because it's just more risk that I'm taking on. Unless I absolutely adore the art, then I'll go ahead and take that risk. Now the next thing here is also pretty important. You can only do this one time. Um, all of this you can really only do one time. So make sure you do it right. Um, double check it before you click mint and the royalty is obviously how much you want to make what percentage you want to make on every sale after so in the secondary if someone buys it for two tes what do you want do you want 10 percent of that five percent 15 20 speaking to collectors it sounds like 20 percent gets a little bit um, annoying for the collector because they're losing a lot like they have to make a lot of profit in order to even make any money at all if it's at 20 percent i like doing about 10 percent but people have been bugging me telling me to go higher so 12.5 is as high as i'm cool with going with right now i don't want to look selfish by putting you know 25 percent royalties like some people do and i'm not judging anyone but i'm just telling you from the collector's point of view if you start rocking 20 percent royalties you're going to look a little greedy to the audience all right and then boom we're done fam okay so I put my password in there sorry guys um, and then you're just gonna get this little pop-up here and basically whenever you do any type of transaction you know you're gonna have to sign something and this is how you do so you simply click confirm and now it's ready to go so like I was just saying before it's March 1st 2022 and right now to mint something it usually takes this process right here maybe three four or five minutes something like that so I'm gonna cut you guys here and I'll come back when it's done cool so here we are guys it finally finished up and right as it finishes this should pop up obviously it'll be your nft instead of mine one little thing I just noticed here that uh, I just learned something new minting this um, when you start putting in your tags you know I put I am in first thinking that you know it would come up first here but it showed up at the end so it kind of did the reverse order that I kind of wanted but that's okay it's not a big deal um, and I really like how this looks with this many tags obviously it depends how big your characters are but when you start having you know tags that go down to fucking here and you've got 30 tags it just looks kind of corny in my eyes as a collector um, and I don't like the look of it I like when stuff is just clean and neat 
and I think this looks really clean and neat. So we're done, step one, two, three, four, and, and we'll go over this all the way at the end, guys. And now we're ready to do the last thing. We're ready to get rich. We're ready to make a bazillion motherfucking Tez. So how we do this, very simple. We go to actions here, and you just wanna list. Um, personally, I'm only gonna list eight for now, and I'm gonna put it in at a value of 1.5 Tez. And then um, we're gonna go ahead and click list. Oh, what's, I don't know what this advanced sale is. Um, haven't looked into that, but we're gonna go ahead and list them at 1.5 Tez. It only eight editions, cause I want to keep one. And then I like to give one NFT away out of like when I mint uh, 10 copies, I always like to give one away to someone that's been supporting me for a long time, preferably someone that's not in the NFT space that likes my art already, but um, is a little nervous about the NFT stuff. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and click confirm and then it's gonna go ahead and it do its thing. And now let's take a look at how much Tez. So guys, look, it has costed me so far 0.1 Tez roughly, 0.1 Tez guys to mint 10 copies and list them, you know? So you're really only gonna have to buy one Tezo from uh, a centralized exchange, right? And we're just gonna go over these steps real quick one more time. So you buy roughly buy one or two Tez from a centralized exchange, then you're gonna need a hot wallet, right? I showed you guys the Temple wallet. You're, if you only have a mobile phone, you're gonna want to download the Kukai wallet, okay? Kukai is the only mobile Tezos wallet currently. So you buy your Tezos on a centralized exchange, you send it to your hot wallet where you can do your transactions. So then you sync it up to object.com, you create a collection like we did earlier, you mint your art, and then boom, you list it and you officially have an NFT up for sale, guys. So I really hope this video was helpful for you. This was I am the masked man. If there's any way I can help you with this, if you're struggling, having trouble, please just leave a comment down below. I will get to it. Um, if you wanna reach out to me a little bit quicker, just hit me up on Twitter. That's the best. Don't hit me up on Instagram because I'm letting my Instagram die because I think Instagram's dying, but that's for another video. Um, these, these platforms are getting way too political and really removing our freedom of speech with I do not agree with in any way, shape, or form. So I don't want to support Instagram, but that's for a whole nother rant. That's how you mint an NFT for roughly what? That cost me like 20, 30 cents, guys. Pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. Thanks for watching. It's I am the Mask Man. Peace out. A-Town. Boom, 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 boom.